it's 2024 and you're new to real estate or you're just getting started. So I want to help you with a quick start guide to KW Command. So let's go. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer, and today we're going to be quick starting into command. So this is going to be for everyone that's new to KW or if you're brand new to real estate and just started with KW. So let's jump right in. You're going to log into command and that's at agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com. And when you onboarded with us, you were invited into command. What I want you to do is click on your name in the upper right corner and click on my profile. Number one is gonna enable you to go to the My KW section and manage your KW email or create your KW email if you so choose. So you'll go in here and you'll click on create KW email or manage your KW email. This is going to give you your KW email address. It is also going to be a Google Workspace account. So make sure that is one of the first things you do when you set it up. I'm going to click Command Home and go back. And now after I've done that, what I want to do is click on my name in the upper right corner. I want to click on Settings and I want to make sure my DocuSign is connected and any other integrations in this section that I might be using. One of those would be Google Calendar and Gmail. This is going to help you along the way later in your real estate career. So make sure that you are connecting those things as well. Once you have those connected, you'll just click on connect if it's not connected and you'll enter your credentials. Once those are connected, you'll want to come over to the connect settings and click on marketing profile. From here, you'll upload your photo. If you're on a team, you'll upload your team logo. You'll enter in all your details, your military affiliation, your bio, any phone numbers, your market center logo and information, any legal footer text that you may need. And if you're in Texas, you're going to need your Trek links in this section. So make sure that you pull those in to this section so that you'll be compliant with Trek. Underneath that, that's gonna be um, any of your social media links. You can put those in here. And then when you're done, make sure you click save at the very bottom. The marketing profile is very important to keep up to date. This is going to go to your website, your agent site, as well as your headers and footers on your emails that are sent out from command. So make sure that you keep this profile up to date. It is your marketing profile and it is inside your settings under connect settings and marketing profile. The next thing you're going to want to do is head on over to your App Store or your Google Play Store and search for the Keller Williams mobile app or Keller Williams Command. And that's what I'm doing right now. You're going to find KW Command here and you're just going to click on Install. Once you've done that, you'll have the app on your device. You can see I have mine here. And you'll want to go in and the first thing you want to do is actually log in. And what you'll do from there is you'll click on the contacts button in the lower bottom left right here. And then you're going to click on the three dots in the top right. From there, you'll click on import contacts. It's going to find all of your contacts. It may even ask you for permission to access the contacts on your phone. Give it permission and then select them all. Uncheck some of the ones that you may not want in there and then click continue. And then if you would like to add a tag, you can do that and then click continue. And it says, will you begin the import? You'll say yes and you'll continue. And then it'll look like this. And when it's done, it will say this many people were imported. Doesn't take very long. I'm going to quit. I've already done this, but it doesn't take very long. That's one of the first things that you need to do in command. All right. It'll give you a little screen like this when it's done and you'll just say, okay, or you'll say, okay, and view details. And then it'll tell you how many contacts were imported. The next thing you're going to want to do is to go back into command on the desktop version, click on contacts, and then all the contacts that you just imported, you are going to want to clean those up and you're going to want to make sure that you have all of the contact information about every single one of these contacts. You're going to want to get this health score right here as high as you possibly can. At minimum, you are going to want their name, their email address, their phone number, their birthday, their physical address, and a neighborhood. So you would do that or add all of that information by going into the contact and clicking the edit button and then just filling out the information and clicking save. Now to get to birthday and address, you're going to go under additional contact information. There you can add additional email, primary address. You can set that address as the mailing address. And then under the about section is where you'll find the birthday. Once you've entered those, click save and that information will update. To add a neighborhood, you'll click on add a neighborhood and you can search 
And this is going to be helpful later when you start your people on smart plans. So I just added a neighborhood here really quickly and you can see it's already in the profile. And now I'm done with that part. So make sure that you're adding information, you're tagging your contacts, right? So if this was somebody that was in my sphere, I would add that as a sphere to my contact. So they're in my sphere. My sphere is going to be the people that I want to reach out to the most that are going to be my A team that I am going to market to, prospect from, and things like that. So we're trying to grow our sphere in real estate. So once you have them tagged, click save. Once you have everybody you know tagged appropriately, then you're going to go into smart plans. You're going to go into the library and you're going to scroll down to the Keller Williams section and you're going to look for the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture or the monthly neighborhood nurture. You're going to click on add smart plan and then you're going to click on download. I already have this downloaded so I can't download it again but that's what you will do. That is then going to go into your my smart plan section and if you have a lot of smart plans you can just search for it. I'm going to search for mine, my monthly neighborhood nurture and then because you've already updated your contacts with an address and an email address you can now start your clients and your sphere on this smart plan. So how to do that? You would click here on add contact, you would click on tags and you would search through the tags or scroll and you would add your contacts that were in that particular tag to this smart plan and you'll click add smart plan. It's going to tell you if they're missing anything that is required of this smart plan. You're going to click remove contacts with errors and then tell it to start now and click confirm. This smart plan is going to send an monthly email with local data on that person's neighborhood to them every month as long as you put the email address in there and their neighborhood. Okay so this is going to start nurturing your clients on your behalf once a month. The next thing you need to do is you need to go into designs. You need to click on create design and we're going to do a social and click next. The first thing you want to do in designs is you want to click on assets and you want to go to my assets section and go to images then click upload and from your device you want to upload your headshots or any headshots that you have. You'll just pull them from your device here and then once you've done that you want to go to logos and you want to upload all the logos for your office. So you would just click on upload under logos find them on your device. If you're in my office you'll find them in our Google Drive shared folder and you'll put them in your assets here in designs. Now you're going to click on the templates button. We're going to look under this leadership tab and agent onboarding. There is going to have all of these social announcements about moving to KW. What you're going to do if you want to do story size you'll pull that. If you want to do wide you can pull that. If you want to do square you can pull that. I personally like this one so I'm going to click on use. I'm going to change out my logo. I'm going to use my red one here and I'm going to put I just joined KW professionals. That's my office. So you're going to put your office. So I'm KW professionals. You'll put your KW whichever you are. Then you're going to switch this photo out with your photo. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have it highlighted. I'm going to click over here on images and I'm going to click on my assets and I'm going to find mine and I will move that in there. And then I might just put this down here where you can actually read it a little better in the black and this might move it as well. And then actually I might just take this out, delete the KW professionals and then just make my logo a little a little bigger. I mean make my logo a little bigger. And then you have an announcement for you as joining KW Professionals and it looks amazing. You can put other words on here like how you know how you can help them with the real estate things like that but those are the top probably 10 things you need to do when you get started with KW. Okay let me know in the comments below if you've gotten started if this has helped you and if you what you're moving on to next in command. Can't wait to hear from you and let's have a great 2024.